Okay, so what you need for this question to be able to do it properly is the following things. You need the appendix. You need to then look at the question. The question says we're dealing with a text file. So in your head, straight away, you should be envisaging how is this text file set up? Is it set up so that we've got... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Data 1 and data 2 on the same line? Or do we have data 1 and data 2 on different lines? So it says we've got data piece 1 and data piece 2 on the same line. Membership number is four characters. So straight away your mind should be going into what we call slicing. Whereby in programming you should know how to slice. Where we get, let's imagine we've got a membership number of 5432. And we've got an email address of ALE. That you guys would be able to, in programming, say, I just want to deal with these four numbers. And I don't care about this at the moment. So, and the email address is just a variable. It changes in length. So we've got a procedure called remove details. So we want to be using pseudocode. And the pseudocode for writing a procedure is literally procedure remove details. We know that we're dealing with a text file. And what we want to do is we want to put the information from the text file. So I'm going to do T for text file. And we want to put it into our main program code. So program code, P for program code. And we want to do it one line at a time. So we need a variable which will be able to take a line from this text file and store it in here. So we're going to call that file line. That's one line from a text file. And it's a string. We also need to do member to delete. Why? So let's have a look. We want the person to be able to input a membership number. That also needs to be declared. So we need to do declare membership number. I'm not going to write it out, but you get the idea. So it will allow someone to type in a membership number. Let's say one, two, three, four. So we need to store that in a variable, and we might set it as an integer. But it's probably going to be easy to do it as a string, because remember, text files store everything as strings anyway. Anyway, we then want to, we need to then create a new file called email details plural dot txt. So, in this pseudocode, we've got the input membership number here. We also need to open up email details dot text. So we're opening up two files. One of them, emails details dot text, is to read. That's an old text file. So we're going to call it file one. We then need to make a second file called new email details. And we're going to use it to write. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the data from here into here but eliminating the membership number which we enter here from being transferred. So, while not end of file email details.txt, so basically if we've got this, it'll keep looping until it reaches the end of the file. And what it's going to do is it's going to read file, so like reading a book, email details, dot text, and we're going to get the first line. So we're going to get the first line. So line one, which would be all of that. We're then going to, so beforehand, before this loop, 
we've inputted a membership number. So let's imagine the membership number was two, three, four, three. It's then going to do an if statement. So if left, which basically means if we look at this, left a b c d e f g h comma three will just return a b c so we're doing if left file line comma four so it's going to take the first line oh and it's simply going to take the first four characters and what's it going to do it's going to check to see if it's not equal with the membership number which we entered in which was two three four three so it's going to look at this does it equal two three four three no it doesn't therefore what we're going to do is we're going to write to the file new email details dot text so this is a new file that variable called file line so we're going to put all of this into my brand new text file it's then going to loop again this time it's going to get the second line, so file line will automatically increment. If left, file line 4 does not equal membership number. Uh-oh, it does equal membership number. Therefore, we're not going to copy it over. Therefore, we're going to loop again if we have more code, sorry, more data. But we're not going to loop again because we've got no more data at the end of the file. Then we're going to close both files, and then we're going to end the procedure. I want you to see how you're done with this. I want you to highlight anything which you're not comfortable with in terms of doing it fluently in pseudocode. So would you know, up by heart now, to have to put for read and for write if you're having files to read and to write? Do you know up by heart for why not end the file? Do you know up by heart read file, the text file, and then file line? Do you know off by heart how to write to a file? Do you know off by heart how to close a file in pseudocode? Highlight the things you don't know and the things you do know in two different colors. I then want you to turn this into replit Python code. 